Hi there, it's teacher Jocelyn. Today I have two books on special request from Vivian. We're going to read Vivian's choice. I hate everything, which is a surprisingly good book, I think. Uh, and also the missing piece, which is by Shel Silverstein and not surprisingly a really good book. Okay. But first let's read. I hate everything. How does this guy feel? He is so mad. You can see like the way the person drew how mad he is. His eyebrows look mad and his mouth and all these things are around him like Urgh. So what happens in this story? This is by Sue Graves and is illustrated by Desideria Gucci Ciardini. Wow, that was a name I have never tried to pronounce before. Last night Sam couldn't sleep because Charlie, the baby, was crying. Sam got mad. He hated it when Charlie cried. Do you ever feel like that? It can be pretty frustrating. He's probably really tired too. In the morning, Dad, Sam wanted to play soccer with Dad, but Dad was busy. Oh, I'm just gonna work in my home office all day long, working on the computer and drinking coffee. Dad said he would play later, but Sam wanted Dad to play now. He got mad. Ugh. At lunchtime, Dad gave Sam some carrots, but Sam hated carrots. Dad said they would make him big and strong. Sam said he didn't want to be big and strong ever. He got very angry. Oh gosh, look what's happening here. He knocked the food right off the table. Ugh. Dad's gonna have to clean up all of that. And here's the baby pouring peas on his head. Oh boy. Dad said, told Sam to go to his room to calm down. But Sam didn't want to go to his room and he didn't want to calm down. Look, he's so mad he's got smoke coming out of his ears. In the afternoon, Sam went to Archie's party. He wanted the piece of cake with the cherry on top, but Ellie took it. Sam got mad. He pushed Ellie so hard she dropped her cake. <gasps> oh gosh, now no one can eat it. Ugh. Sam. And then everyone played musical chairs, and when the music stopped, Sam wasn't fast enough. He didn't get a chair. Archie said Sam was out. Sam said he wasn't out at all. I hate everything, Sam shouted. He stamped his feet. And then everyone was mad at Sam for spoiling the party. Ugh. Aunt Meg took Sam outside. She said when she felt angry, she took a deep breath and slowly counted to 10. Sam took a deep breath. He counted slowly to 10, and soon he started to feel better. He didn't feel so mad anymore. I do that too, I do three deep breaths. Aunt Meg told Sam there were lots of other things he could do when he felt mad. Sam thought about what he could do. He said he could read a book, or talk to somebody about how he was feeling, or run in the yard or play with his dog, Monty. Aunt Meg said those are all really good ideas. Sometimes when I feel mad, I wanna go lie down on my bed and cry and that helps me feel better. Or I like to talk to somebody about how I'm feeling. Sam wished that he had not spoiled Archie's party. He told everyone that he was sorry. That's okay, everyone gets mad sometimes. And then everyone played hide and seek. Everyone ran and hid and Archie counted to 10. And then he looked and looked and the first person he found was Sam. And Sam, uh, didn't get mad at all. That's okay, now I get to be it. All right, so that's I Hate Everything. That's one that I get to read at school a lot because a lot of kids feel mad at school and at home too. And then this one is called The Missing Piece. And this is an old story by Shel Silverstein that I remember even from when I was a kid. So this is a funny one because some of the pictures look like this. I think probably any kid I know could draw a book like this, right? If you have some good ideas, maybe you can make a book. It was missing a piece and it was not happy. So it set off in search of its missing piece. And as it rolled, it sang this song. Oh, I'm looking for my missing piece. I'm looking for my missing piece. Hi-dee-ho, here I go, looking for my missing piece. So 
sometimes it baked in the sun. But then the cool rain would come down. And sometimes it was frozen by the snow, but then the sun would come and warm it again. And because it was missing a piece, it could not roll very fast. So it would stop and talk to a worm. Or smell a flower. And sometimes it would pass a beetle. And sometimes the beetle would pass it. <laughs> and this was the best time of all. Can you see a butterfly landed on it? It's a good feeling. And on it went over oceans. Oh, I'm looking for a missing piece over land and overseas. So grease my knees and fleece my bees. I'm looking for a missing piece. When I read that part, it makes me think of a kid that loved to hear that so many years ago. Through swamps and jungles, up mountains, and down mountains. <laughs> Until one day, lo and behold, I found my missing piece, it's saying, I found my missing piece, so grease my knees and fleece my bees, I found my... Wait a minute, said the piece, before you go greasing your knees and fleecing your bees... I am not your missing piece. I'm nobody's piece. I am my own piece. And even if I was somebody's missing piece, I don't think I'd be yours. Oh, it said sadly. I'm sorry to have bothered you. And on it rolled. It's like that sometimes. Found another piece. But this one was too small. And this one was too big, I'll say so. And this one was a little too sharp. And this one was too square. One time it seemed to have found the perfect piece, but it didn't hold it tightly enough and lost it. Another time it held too tightly and it broke. So on and on it rolled. Having adventures? Whoa. Falling into holes? How did I even get out of there? and bumping into stone walls. Mm. And then one day it came upon another piece that seemed to be just right. Hi, it said. Hi, said the piece. Are you anybody else's missing piece? Not that I know of. Well, maybe you wanna be your own piece? I can be someone's and still be my own. Well. Maybe you don't want to be mine. Maybe I do. Maybe we won't fit. Well. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> it fit. It fit perfectly. At last. At last. And away it rolled. And because it was now complete, it rolled faster and faster. Faster than it had ever rolled before. So fast that it couldn't stop to talk to a worm. or smell a flower. Too fast for a butterfly to land. But it could sing its happy song. At last it could sing, I found my missing piece. And it began to sing, I found my missing piece, I found my missing piece, so grease my bees and grease my bees if you found. Oh my, now that it was complete, it could not sing at all. What? Mm. 
Aha, it thought, so that's how it is. So it stopped rolling. This book's been loved so much, it's coming apart. And it set the piece down gently. And slowly rolled away. And as it rolled away, it softly sang. Oh, I'm looking for my missing piece. I'm looking for my missing piece. hi yo, here I go, looking for my missing piece. Sometimes I think that story is as much for grown-ups as for kids. What do you think? Okay, that's all for this time. See you next books.